Okay, so in this video, we are going to be talking about a wall walk. And for those of you who don't understand my accent, I'm talking about a wall walk, as in walking up a wall. So this is one of my favorite handstand drills. It's one of the best ways to start strengthening the shoulders and to start getting more confidence in an upside down position, but also get to a point where you can do more advanced handstand drills. Um, lots of people love to just kick up onto a wall and we tend to get into a really bad body position. So uh, when working on handstands, we wanna get with our chest to the wall. That's really hard to do though initially because most people don't have enough strength in their arms and in their shoulders. So this exercise is gonna help you do that. Before you do this exercise, you should have really good range of motion in your shoulders. So you should be able to get into complete shoulder flexion, which means 180 degrees here, that you're not stuck here somewhere. I've got lots of exercises for shoulder openers. And you should also be able to have a lot of weight on your hands and on your shoulders. So we start with downward facing dogs, like in yoga, and then we move up to elevating our feet so that we can get more weight onto our hands and our bum directly over our hands. And I have a separate tutorial for that. So this is the next level um, where we're getting even more weight onto our hands and we're getting ourselves into more of an upright position. So what we're gonna do is we're, you're gonna start with about, start with your bum against the wall and come forward and put your hands on the floor. Then you wanna get your, your feet up on the wall and your weight onto your hands. So it looks like this. Okay, so this is the first, this is the first thing that you want to be able to do. I'm not in the right position, I'm not close enough to the wall, I'm not um, completely upright, I'm not in a handstand position yet or anything, but this is the first way of building confidence and building strength in your shoulders. And you might need to do that for a few weeks or even for a couple of months before you can move on to the next stage. The next stage is walking closer to the wall so that we can get into a more of an upright gymnastics handstand position. I'm not gonna bore you with body position or anything like that just now. We're just gonna get confidence on our hands first. So getting back with our feet up on the wall, we're then gonna to start to walk our hands closer to the wall and we're gonna to have to walk our feet up the wall as well. So in the beginning, you might just be taking a couple of steps forward and a couple of steps back. But once you get, as you get more confident, so you might just be taking a couple of steps and that's all you can do, that's fine. The closer you get to the wall, the harder it is. Your goal over a month or two is to get as close as you can to the wall with your chest. So this is the goal I'm gonna show you. Get onto your hands and then to walk back, one hand, then the other, and keep on walking until you're nice and close to the wall, and then you wanna try and point your toes, okay? We won't worry too much about body position at this point, just try and get with your hands over your shoulders, over your pelvis, over your hands, everything in a nice straight line with your hands as close as you can to the wall with enough, um, with enough fuel in the tank to walk your hands away from the wall and not just fall down. One, another way out of it is to do this. Walk your way up to the wall and you can always come down from the side. If you feel comfortable doing that, then it's best to leave a little bit of, um, of um, fuel in the tank, a little bit of energy in your arms, a little bit of strength left in your arms so that you can walk away and control yourself down slowly. Now, if you're a gymnastics expert, this is just something I want to say at, at the end. I am not a handstand expert. I am, I've, I've picked it up through CrossFit and through some gymnast, gymnastics classes that I've done throughout the years. So if you are like this amazing gymnastics expert and this amazing handstand expert, then I know my technique isn't perfect. But what I've learned throughout the years of working with, um, with women and with mums is that handstands are a really realistic um, goal, body weight goal for lots and lots of women, but sometimes it's the, the tutorials and the way to get there are just so long and so difficult, loads and loads of core work and loads and loads of 
um, different drills before you actually get upside down and it's boring and most people don't do it. So this is a really fun exercise to just start getting up the wall, to just start getting on your hands and to start having something to work towards other than just losing weight and looking good. Handstands are really, really fun and it is really, really, um, it's a really feasible goal for everyone. So with that, that was my, one of my favorite handstand drills, which is a wall walk, walking up as close as you can to the wall.